Hey guys, it's Davey here from BoneBluff.com and in this video, I'm going to be manufacturing, at least in my mind, the perfect Android smartphone based off hardware that's already out on the market uh, for the month of June 2012. So, you know, leave me comments below if you agree with me or what you'd rather see in your version of the perfect smartphone. But for me, we'll start with the screen and it has got to be that screen on the HC One X which is 1280 by 720p and uh, it's super LCD too. I was considering the one on the Galaxy Nexus and the SGS3, but those guys used the pen tile layout, so I decided, you know, for my perfect phone, I would want to see the display on the One X. For the processor, I want to see the Equinos 4 Quad. Now, I know that it's not compatible with LT networks here in the US, um, but honestly, it, it is the best performing processor, at least from the benchmarks I've seen. I haven't tested it in person, but based off Equinos uh, history as far as the Echinos 4210 compared to the Snapdragon S3 and the other processors, it outperformed those guys. So I assume that the Echinos 4 Quad is going to outperform these other processors. And um, that's the one I would choose for my perfect Android smartphone clocked at 1.4 gigahertz. Now RAM, um, as you guys know, the Galaxy S3 is going to be coming with two gigs of RAM for the US and Canadian versions. So obviously I want to see two gigs on my perfect phone. For the camera, it's easy for the front facer, facer. I would choose the 1.9 megapixel camera on the Galaxy S3 again. Um, it's the highest megapixel count. It's going to shoot in 720p and you know it's going to have good quality. But the guy on the back, um, it's kind of a toss up. I mean, I don't know as far as which Android phones out there, which camera I would choose. You know, it's it's there's close between a couple, but I think, you know, from what I've seen and what I've tested from Android phones, I would go with the camera on the HC One S or One X. Uh, because I just feel like they shoot the best picture quality. The video quality is really great on there if you can watch uh, video samples on the channel. And uh, overall, I'm really satisfied with it. So I choose the camera from the HC One S. Uh, for battery life, or the battery, I it's pretty much an easy choice. I choose the one on the Motorola Razr Max. It's 3300 milliamps. You know, it's like a thousand more milliamps than any of the other batteries out there, or 1200 more milliamps than any of the batteries out there. So it's gonna last you a long longer. And obviously Motorola made it in a way where it didn't make the device any thicker. I mean, didn't make it too thick. Uh, it's still under nine millimeters, which you know is more than acceptable considering you have that much battery life. Um, and the last thing is the storage. I want my perfect phone to come with 32 gigabytes of internal storage with an expandable micro SD card or expandable by micro SD card. You know, I'm kind of, uh, frustrated with when manufacturers don't include that expandable micro SD card slot. Obviously they do it to make the device thinner or whatever it is, but on this phone, that's what I really want to see. I want to see it to be expandable so it could be, you know, perfect. And um, other notable features are NFC capability. You know, at this point I kind of expected to have that. Bluetooth 4.0, again, that's something expected. And the operating system, I would want Android 4.04 or the latest version at the time. Um, obviously right now it's 4.04. And uh, I want it to be stock ICS, no manufacturer UI because you know some people prefer TouchWiz, some people prefer HTC Sense. So I mean, honestly, I'd rather just go you know straight from the creator, which is Google, and have that pure Google Android experience. So anyway, that's my perfect Android smartphone. You may disagree or agree. Um, if you have you know a different idea as, well, as far as what a perfect smartphone would be, let me know in the comments below. And uh, if you agree with me, let me know too. But definitely would love to see this guy be manufactured one day. I mean, I don't think it ever will be, but you know, it's nice to imagine it. Anyway, that's it for me in this video. Thank you for watching.